Okay, I'm on 93, and I'm gonna go to the whiteboard to do it. And I realize the work is there. I'm just, the reason I'm going to the whiteboard is show you what, how I do this before I type it up, all right? Uh, let's go to the whiteboard. And I'll put the whiteboard down here. And again, we're doing problem 93. Whoops, let's get a pen out. Let me erase this first off and get a pen out. So 93, and they want me to integrate each of the three X and time sine of 2x dx. So I'm going to say, you know, it looks like integration by parts to me. And let me write this down. I'm going to write down, um, gee, what can I write down? I, I'm going to say u equals, there's a variety of ways of doing it. I'm not saying one way is better than the other. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll, I'll put sine of 2x down. And this forces me to say that dv is equal to e to the 3x dx. And then du would be equal to, let's see, cosine of 2x times 2 dx. Let's see, v would equal e to the 3x over 3. All right? So I'm ready to write down my first step. And that's going to be what? It's going to be uv. So I see uh, e to the 3x sine 2x over 3 minus, well, it's going to be vdu now. So it's going to be e to the 3x. There's the third over here. I see a 2, and I see a cosine 2x dx. All right, so let me take a look at that now. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna cross this out lightly, indicating I, I'm not gonna look at that again. But I wanna, I wanna continue. And I'm gonna do this, it's e to the 3x sine 2x over three minus two thirds integration e to the 3x cosine 2x dx, all right? And again, I want to point out that um, we have to do integration by parts again. And let's be consistent in what we've done in the past, by the way. So I'm going to write this down again. I'm going to write u equals, I'm going to say cosine of 2x, and that forces me to say that e, uh, I'm sorry, I'll put the, be consistent with what I wrote in the past, by the way. So that's going to be uh, dv equals e to the 3x dx. du is going to be minus the sine of 2x times 2 dx. The v, e to the 3x, I'm not worried about the constant until everything is removed, all the integrations are removed, over 3. All right, let's keep writing it. And I'm going to maybe tell you where this is coming from again. So it's e to the 3x uh, sine 2x dx equals e to the 3x sine 2x over 3 minus 2 thirds. There comes the tough part. I got to do my integration my parts now. So it's going to be uh, the uv so that's going to be um, e to the 3x cosine 2x over 3. That's uv. And then minus v du. So minus v du. That's going to be e to the 3x over 3. I'll put this over here. And then I see this minus 2, so I'll put plus 2 there. And that's going to be sine of 2x. That's a lot to jam in there, all right? I think I'm getting really kind of close towards the end at this point, but let me just, you know, keep rewriting it. E to the 3x sine 2x over 3 minus 2e to the 3x cosine 2x over 9. So I did that right. Yeah, I looked all right. Minus... 
four ninths e to the three x sine two x dx. Well, I'm in an infinite loop now. The reason why I'm really back at the beginning, which isn't so bad, by the way, because what I'm going to do is add it to both sides. And if you do that, if I add this to both sides, by the way, what are you going to get? Well, there's one of them on one side, and I'm going to add four ninths to it. So it's going to be nine plus four, which is 13 ninths. e to the 3x sine 2x dx equals e to the 3x sine 2x over 3 minus 2 e to the 3x cosine 2x over 9 plus some constant integration. I was going to call it C1. I, I want to get rid of the, the, the 13 ninths, and what I'm going to do that is multiply both sides by 9 thirteenths. So I get e to the 3x sine 2x dx equals, well, 9 thirteenths times um, 1 third would be 3 thirteenths. And that's going to be e to the 3x you know what? Maybe make it a little bit neater than that. Again, I'm multiplying by 9 thirteenths. So I get 3 uh, thirteenths e to the 3x sine 2x minus, and I'm getting multiplied multiply by 9 thirteenths. So the 9 would cancel. I'd get 2 thirteenths. 2 thirteenths e to the 3x cosine 2x. Now, when I multiply c1 by 9 thirteenths, I'll just get another constant, and I'm going to call it c2, or just simply c. So I'm going to put a box in this over here, indicating I think I'm done. All right, mistakes are, uh, are common, and as I say that, I want to just look at my work over here and look at the key. I definitely see the 13 in it, all right? Now, do I see this stuff over here? Let me take a look at that, 3e e to the 3x sine 2x. Yes, I am looking at my k, minus e to the uh, 2e. Yeah, looks like I did it right, plus c. We're good to go. Thank you.